Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to avoid using C drive for database create when you right click on SQL Server database and create new database using SQL Server Management Studio Wizard and take the default values. Uh, sometimes what happen is that if your database um, SQL Server is installed on C it's, uh, and you haven't changed any setting for your database, then it is going to go ahead and uh, create your databases in C. And we are going to look into the options that how can we avoid uh, using C drive for our database create. And in this particular demo, we'll be looking at how to look at the SQL Server database settings, how to change default database data file location, how to change default database log file location in SQL Server. So let's go ahead and do it. Here's my SQL Server. I'm connected with Management Studio. In Management Studio, in order to look at database setting, you need to right click on your SQL Server instance and go to the properties. As soon as you uh, go into the properties, the window will op uh, open, the server properties windows will open and you need to go in database settings. And if you notice right here, by default, the data, data location is right here, uh, the log location is right here and backup location is right here, which means that um, any time Anytime you will uh, basically create a database, user database will be created, it will be created, the data file will be created in this location, log file will be created in uh, this location, and backup will be taken in this location by default. Unless otherwise you define in your query to create the database, if you change those values, then yes, it will take your new values. But if you take the default values, these are the default database values. So one of the trick that we could do in order to avoid C drive right here, we can change the SQL Server instance database settings and make it this one maybe D and this one L for log and this one F for backup. So we can change these location right here. As soon as we'll change that, anytime the new user database created with the default values, it will not be created in C drive unless uh, otherwise specified explicitly. So um, I don't have any D, L, or F drive, really. I'm just going to uh, create a demo for you. Uh, and I, I have created another folder right in C. So please uh, uh, don't, don't think that uh, um, this particular demo is about uh, avoiding C and we're still using C. But that's just for the demo purposes. Only um, uh, I don't have any other drive but C drive. I could have gone basically uh, create um, uh, map another drive and into SQL Server and made it D but it's much easier basically you just uh, uh, go ahead and click on this option right here and change your location and that'll be it. So let's go ahead and change the location right here and in C uh, keep in mind that uh, in my case look at this uh, path right here so right now this is the path on C drive so I'm going to go ahead and change that to D so let's say that this is my D uh, data folder so what I want is that um, all the data files should be in my D when we run the SQL Server script you will see that my comments up there that what it should be but you can change is anything other than C and basically for Azure, if you're using SQL Server Azure, C and D both are not recommended for any uh, data files for SQL Server. So you have to avoid using D as well if you're dealing with SQL Server Azure. But as far as your on-premise, I would recommend that uh, please do not use C for your SQL Server database data files or log files. So I'm going to just give you a demo. Let's say that this is D uh, data and this is my uh, log file L log so I'm going to go ahead and provide that and this is my backup so I don't want to keep anything on C drive right here the reason we don't use C drive first of all C drive is a system uh, uh, drive and it, if it fills up then the whole server will go down uh, and also that if if the whole server will go down It's much difficult to clear all that and bring the SQL server will go down as well and you don't have the the backup really um, a lot of disaster can happen if you use C drive so uh, 
please avoid using C. So I'm going to go ahead and SQL Server System Backups right here, this folder I'm going to use for our default backup. So as soon as I will click OK, it will take effect. Refresh. So let's go back. Database settings. Right here it took backup setting and let's go ahead and restart our SQL Server services. So let's go back to properties and go to the database setting. As you can see right here, after we restarted the SQL services, it took our new location for database default location setting and it took it like C data and C log. So I apologize, I, I, I didn't really mean to say that uh, it will take effect right away. You do have to restart your SQL services in order to take the new location in. Uh, but um, what I meant was that uh, as soon as you will click OK, it's there in the system waiting for you to uh, restart the SQL services. Once the SQL services restarted, then as you can see that all everything came up. So um, let's go ahead and cancel this and I'm going to go ahead and create a new database called Demo Database and I am going to keep everything default. So if you look at it, right here the default path is now C data so in your case it would be D data and L data or whatever the drive other than C that you will provide so you're gonna go ahead and click OK and you will not be using C drive anymore so that's a uh, that's how you do it using SQL Server Management Studio so let's go ahead and uh, change it back to um, the location the previous location so that we can use our SQL uh, uh, script this was the previous location and this was the previous location for log file as well Uh, we, we won't care about uh, backup. Uh, backup is, you know, you can, we don't have to give backup right now here. But um, we can go ahead right now, click OK, and go ahead, restart the SQL services. And this will take our new location again. Alright, let's refresh this. Now let's load our T-SQL script. We will be doing the same thing, changing the default location of this SQL server. We'll be using right here these database settings, a default database location using T-SQL. So let's go ahead and load that. So right here is our T-SQL script. If you notice right here, I am writing here, please avoid using C for any data, log, or backup files. And with everything right here, I'm saying that it should be D, data should be your new drive. Uh, I am not imposing that D should be your data drive, but other than C, um, and if it comes to SQL Server Azure, then you need to avoid D as well. But um, other than C, on-premise, you can use any drive for your uh, uh, data. And log and data drives should be on different uh, uh, drives anyway. And backup, you can put it on a slow uh, disk as well. So let's go ahead and run this. All right. So once we ran this, we're going to go ahead and restart SQL services. And after the SQL services comes up, we're going to go ahead um, and look at our default location 
if our tsql script has changed that default location let's refresh this let's go back to the properties and as you can see that new location has taken place so basically this is how you um uh, avoid this is one way to avoid a C drive for using database create another way that you could avoid using C drive basically force not to use SQL Server um, on database or log file going in C drive is that uh, you can uh, create a trigger that as soon as that trigger uh, detects that uh, the user has provided the location and C is uh, C backslash um, C colon backslash is in the location then go ahead and roll back and uh, throw an error and don't let C, uh, that user create the database in C drive so that is another way and that is much more effective way if you wanted to enforce the policy is 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 a kind of policy uh, using trigger that you wanted to avoid uh, using being a DBA you don't want folks to or any application basically to create um, any data file or log file on C uh, but this is uh, this is if uh, SQL Server um, if application is installing and they're using SQL Server default values then it is going to basically go ahead and avoid uh, a C drive based on your database SQL Server database settings and I hope this video helps